Okay, you guys, this is the screen that I was telling you about. This is transaction summary. Um, and it's just telling you what all it has to download and update. Alright, is this okay? Uh, we want to hit Y for yes. And it's going to go through several of these. That's going to take a little while. And it's going to ask you the same thing like maybe two or three more times. You want to just type Y for yes and, and well, Y for yes. And then I will see you all when you get done. Okay, you guys, it just completed. So, um, all right, now that that's out the way, we're going to go ahead and continue on. Uh, if you look here, it says additional setup. Um, this is talking about the FC Linux. Remember, we disabled that at the beginning of the video. So, therefore, we don't have to complete that step. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to come to the next step that says right here. Create the directories in which the Oracle software will be installed. So, this is why I was telling you all about tweaking. Um, I don't like to name my directories this way. So, we're going to make some changes. If you want to do it this way, it's perfectly fine. I just don't like that. Um, so, uh, you have to stay root to do this. So, the first thing you want to do is mkdir minus p and slash I'm gonna every every test whenever I'm testing something I always do Oracle test I don't know why I like Oracle test I just do Oracle test and what I do is I put those first two folders together this and this so I do Oracle test app then slash Oracle slash product slash one one dot two dot zero slash for the db1 i just put the name of my database because that's what that is that's the name of database number one the name of my database is going to be oracle test so i want to hit enter if you get anything other than what you see you did something incorrectly now we are going to give the owner to this user um my oracle user will be myself so i'm not gonna put oracle i'm gonna put oracle dba girl so i'm gonna do uh that's that stands for change owner so c h o w n minus capital r and i'm gonna do oracle dba girl and colon o i n star Oh, I install. I'm just checking to make sure I have no errors. Then I'm going to do slash and then I'm going to do Oracle test app. Enter. Okay, so that's completed successfully. And then the next one is to change mod or change mode. I'm not sure which one it is, but C H M O D. And this is basically you're changing the permissions on that folder. You're giving yourself uh, rewrite and execute permissions. So change mode minus R oh, minus R and slash Oracle DBA girl. Make sure Oracle DBA girl. Enter. Okay. So I missed something. I missed the I missed the, the digits. And like I said, anytime you don't type anything right you're it's going to be good at giving you what you missed so i'm going to do it over change mod minus r 775 and oracle test app and i also uh put my name there too so that was another error that i made i'm glad that it caught that all right it's supposed to be the name of your folder and that's the name of my folder oracle test app okay so i had to type something incorrectly let me try this one more time change mod minus r 775 dash oracle test app Okay, I put an S right there. So now, let's see. It went through. 
but you see how attention to detail is very key, you guys? It's very, very key. Okay, so now that we have that, we can move on. We're not going to do this step because we're going to do it later with x mean. Alright, so what we want to do now is come to the next step. The next step says to log in as the Oracle user. So let's go ahead and log in as the Oracle user. SU Oracle DBA Girl. Alright, um, and add the following lines at the end of the dot bash underscore profile file remembering to adjust them for your specific um, installation so what we're going to do here the first thing we're going to do is copy this alright copy it now what we're going to do is go to that file that they informed us to go to um, so to get to this file and to get to any file well for this file any dot profile you see is going to be in your home directory but if a dot is before it that means that it's hidden so to pull up profiles I always do ls minus ltr space dot well I normally do dot profile but since this says dot bash I'm going to do bas and I'm going to do shift the number 8 for the wildcard and it gives me a list of all the hiddings, anything that starts with BAS and anything after it. The file we're looking for is right here. Now, I'm going to teach you all. Well, one thing that you need to know, anytime you're adding a file, before you add it as a DBA, you always want to make a backup copy. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy that to a backup. And to do that, you want to do CP or copy dot b a s h underscore p r o and I'm going to hit tab for bash profile so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do dot b a s h this is the new file underscore p r o f tab and I'm going to hit backspace and I'm going to do dot and today's day is zero three ten 2013 that's how we normally do backups so I'm gonna hit enter now let's say if I do ls minus ltr uh, dot bash star then you see my backup copy right here it says that it was it was uh, created this day and it shows the time as well so um, we're going to leave it as that. Now we want to edit this file right here. The first edit that I'm going to make is I am going to change this name because I don't want it to be that. I'm going to, this is basically, these settings here are basically settings for your database. So that's what I'm going to name it. I'm going to change it to, anytime you want to change the name of a file, you're going to use the move command. And that's going to be md dot b a s h underscore p r o tab all right and what i'm going to do now is hit the space bar and then i want to name it dot because it's still a profile p r o f i l e dot database that lets me know that it's a profile for my database so i'm going to hit enter now um if I to to see that I can do the same thing ls minus ltr space dot p r o tab and there it is right there now we're gonna add this file so I'm gonna do vi and then I'm just gonna come here and double click on this oh, hold on my mouse is a little bit stuck here okay vi double click on this and then just right click for paste and enter now this is how it looks now right here it says dot dash profile you don't have to change this but i'm going to change it so i'm going to do escape or well, escape here and then i'm going to hit x x x x x okay so that says profile and then i'm going to escape again 
once I escape again, I'm going to hit I for insert. And then I'm going to hit over. So right here, I'm going to do dot D B. And then I'm going to escape to get out of insert mode. All right. So now I'm going to come down. These can stay the same because uh, I'm just going to let these stay the same for now. I'll change them later. But for now, they can stay the same. Okay. So here, I'm just going to come to the end of this. Hit escape. Hit the right arrow key. Well, escape, white arrow key, and press enter. Huh? One second. Okay. Escape. I'm sorry. Hit the I for insert, white arrow key. And now I'm going to hit enter. All right. I, I, I went to the second line. And what we need to do is recopy this because we copied other things earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and recopy this. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to right click. Anytime you see uh, this sign, the pound sign, that's, that means coming out. So basically, uh, Linux will not read anything that has this on it. But it will read everything else. So what we're going to do here is we're going to change these settings to meet our standards. Now, first thing we're going to do is where well, our cursor is here. So we're going to scroll up, we'll scroll over, then scroll up. The first thing that we want to change is the Oracle host name. Now, if you all can remember, our host name was Oracle Test. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to hit Escape. Then I'm going to push the right arrow key. And then I'm going to do X, 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 X. Okay, then I'm going to hit Escape again. And then I'm going to do the Insert button for I. And then I'm going to type Oracle Test. Now I will say this. I have to stress here that you have to make sure everything is 100% correct. Because if not, if one letter is wrong, then your database will not start up when we do install it. So you have to make sure that this is correctly. If you want to save out the every line, hey, buy, 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 buy everything. Go ahead, especially if you're first starting Linux. I recommend it. So for Oracle Test uh, dot local domain, that's right, O R A C L E T E S T. Now for the unique name, normally you can name it what you want, but I always name mine the same as my database. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Escape just to be on the safe side, and then I'm gonna do X X X X X. Then I'm gonna hit Escape to get out of delete mode, and then I'm gonna hit I for insert mode. And then I'm going to do O-R-A-C-L-E-T-E-S-T. -E -E and then I'm going to hit escape to get out of test mode. Now, the next one we're going to do is go to the Oracle Base. Now, for Oracle Base, if you all don't know what the Oracle Base is, Oracle Base is the location uh, when you're installing Oracle. It's the location that holds all your products. So, um, like software and things like that. If you notice here, it says Oracle. Um, um, right here, these are the two lines that we're going to change. If you all remember, I put these two lines together. But, you know, sometimes it's better to be safe than sorry. So, for this, we're going to double check. We're going to check here. We're going to right click here. And then we're going to do duplicate session. And then you want to log in again as the Oracle user. Oracle DBA girl. And then for the password, go ahead and put in your password. Now, uh, one second. All right, now that I'm in. Now, what you want to do here to check, make sure your folder is correct, we're going to go to what would be equivalent to the C drive. We're going to go to the root folder or what's equivalent to the C drive. And in order to get there, we're going to do CD dot dot slash dot dot. And then enter. Now I'm going to do LS. Okay. These are basically what's equivalent to like the C drive. Like this is the beginning of everything. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do. Well, you know what? You all see my folder here? So what we're going to do is we're going to CD into that folder. And do LS. 
and I guess we can just see it into Oracle and do PWD. So if you all remember correctly, for the Oracle base, we have to stop at Oracle. So therefore, the only thing we're really copying for the Oracle base is just this right here. Oracle test app. Again, you, I cannot stress this enough. You have to make sure that this is correct. If it's not correct, it will not work, you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to do X, 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 X. And here, we'll go ahead and hit escape. And then we're going to do I for insert. And then we're going to do O, R, A, C, L, E, T, E, S, T, A, P, P. And then escape. Now, you want to make sure it looks like that. You want to make sure it looks exactly like this. Oracle test or Oracle test app Oracle. Oracle test app Oracle. All right. So now what you want to do is escape. And then you want to go ahead and come down to your Oracle home. Your Oracle home is where your database is stored. Now, right here it says Oracle base, which is going to be this line here. It stops at Oracle. The next pro the next directory is product 11.2.0 slash database. Now, just to make sure that it looks just like that, we're going to go there just to be on the safe side. So, here I'm going to hit LS. You see the next line is product. So, we're going to CD the product just to be on the safe side to show you all. So, CD to 11, hit the tab, and then hit LS. CD, that's the name of our database right there. So, hit enter, and then we're going to do PWD. All right. So, that's how that line should look. And as you can say, it says Oracle Base, which stop at Oracle. Then you have product 11.2.0, and then it says here DB underscore 1. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come here, D, at the D, hit Escape, and then X, 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 X. All right, then we're going to hit Escape again, and then hit I, and then we're going to type O-R-A-C-L-E-T-E-S-T. -E -E escape. And... Now, we are at the SID. SID stands for Service Identifier. It's the same thing as your Oracle database name. So here, we're going to type escape, and then we're going to do X, 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 X. Then you're going to hit escape again. Then you're going to hit I for insert, and then you will do O-R-A-C-L-E-T-E-S-T. -E -E that's the name of our database. So hit escape, and that's it. So now you're going to hit shift colon W Q right quick enter. Now we'll say this. When we try to start up the database, if it does not come up, I know without a shadow of a doubt something is wrong in that file. Okay. Um, now that we've done that, we can go ahead and we're going to configure X mean. Um, so what I want you all to do for this, the first thing I want you to do is go to start and then we'll type in x l a u n and it should bring up x lunch open that when you open that you're going to do multiple windows then you're going to do next start no client okay you want to check no access control next and then finish this is how you install oracle um because again um uh, Linux is not a command, is not a GUI, so we're going to create a GUI basically. So, what you're going to do here, you remember we wrote down the IP address earlier? We are about to put that into use, the other IP address. So, the first thing that you want to do is you want to scroll back down, you want to do export EXPORT space. D I S. Make sure it's capital P L A Y. And then you want to do the equal sign. Now, once you do that, you see we have PC. You want to put in your PC address, no matter what it is. 10.253. This is mine, you guys. 130.154. That's 164. 154. And then you're going to do colon. 0, dot 0. Okay, so let me make sure 10.253.130.154. All 
0.154 colon 0 dot 0. Then you're going to hit enter. Once you do that, you're going to do echo dollar sign display. And if it comes down, then you set it up right. And now that you've done that, to verify that your X lunch is work, working, you hit X. You type X clock. Okay, you see this clock right here? That means it's working. So I'm just going to hit X. Now this means I can go ahead and install the database. In order to do that, first I want to see where I am. Okay, so I'm in my um, home directory. I'm going to CD into downloads and then LS and then I'm going to CD into my Oracle folder and LS. Now I'm going to CD into my database folder, LS. Now these are the files that's in my database folder. In order to install Oracle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type dot slash run tab for this folder right here. And then I'm going to hit enter. Now what I want you all to pay attention to, you have to make sure that all these things pass. Being that this came up, it meant that it passed, but I want to show you all what it checks for. It checks for um, your temp space, and it says pass. It, it checks for your swap space, it says pass. And it also checks for 256 colors. This one is one that don't hardly pass. A lot of people have problems with this one passing. But for our case, it passed. When it passes, it's going to bring up this screen. Now we can start. Now we can start to install the database. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck I wish to receive uh, security updates, and I'm going to hit next. If you watch video three, then you know how this works. It's the exact same process. So we're going to hit yes here. Okay, we're going to create and configure a database, and we're going to do server class on this one, and then we're going to hit next. And then we're going to do single. Okay, then on this one, we're going to hit Advance Install. All right, English, that's fine. And we want to do Enterprise, so hit Next. So here we have to uh, add the Oracle Base and the Oracle Home. All right, so um, for the Oracle Base, remember I showed you all last time where the Oracle Base was. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here, and then we're going to go to here and then we're going to do here and that's the Oracle base so here they already have it set up Oracle product 11 to only thing they don't have correct is this and I'll go ahead and just type that in Oracle test and then we're going to hit next if, if you did something incorrectly there it won't go to the next then that it went to next we have it right for your or inventory but that's exactly where we wanted at. So we'll hit next. And next. Uh, right here, our global domain, we've already set that up, is going to be Oracle Test dot local domain. And here, that's the seed, Oracle Service Identifier. So we have Oracle T E S T. All right. So next. All right, for this one, you want to leave everything the same. Just come over to Sample Schemas. Check Create Database with Sample Schemas. Next. All right, you don't want to mess with this. Just hit Next. 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 Select. Use the same password for all accounts. If you want to specify a different password, you're more than welcome to. Training purposes, I'm using the same password. Next. All right, Next. And uh, where is doing pre-registry checks? All right. Remember, you guys, I, we had to check these the other time. I meant the well previously right here. It passed. So we're okay on these. We're going to do ignore all. And then we're going to hit next. All right. So then we're going to hit finish. So now it's going to start downloading. Of course, you all know that this is going to take some time. But I will be back when... It gets to 95%, the database configuration assistant will pop up. And I will be back when it gets to that point. Okay.
Okay, you guys, it's at 95%. So I just wanted to pull it up to show you uh, the database configuration will pop up like when it gets to 95%. So I'm going to pause it until this completes. And we will continue on because before this completes 100%, uh, there's like two things we have to do. Okay, you guys, when the database con uh, configuration assistant gets to 100%, uh, this is going to basically give you information. This information, we already know it. So if you want to, you can save the screen. I just hit OK and keep it moving. All right. Um, these are the two things I mentioned, mentioned earlier to you all that we have to do. Uh, it says the following configuration scripts needs to be executed as the root user. So what we will do is we'll go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to pull this up and pull this up on top of that so we can see. Now we're here. So let me just go to CD. And it says to CD to Oracle test app and then Oracle inventory and tab and enter. So I'm in that folder. Now it wants me to go to the or insta root script. Um, what these two files, what these two scripts do if I'm correct is I think the first one give you access to the or insta and the second one creates a file but I have to look at it and be on the safe side but I think that's what they do so here we're just gonna run the or insta root dot sh so we're gonna type sh and then just double click on this and then right click on it and then hit enter oh <laughs> I wasn't root so su switch user to root and now we're going to do sh oh password i'm sorry and sh and then it's copy because it's still highlighted so i'm going to right click and then i'm going to hit enter okay uh basically we're not in that directory because we switched over to root so we're going to just go back to CD and then I'm just going to copy this and right click. Alright, so now we're good. Now we can hit LS. And now I can do SH, copy, paste. Alright, it says, okay, yep, changing the group name of the or inventory to Oracle DBA Girl. So now we can go to the second part. The second part says to CD into uh, Oracle test app. Well, wait one second. I got to do the root. Okay. Oracle test. And then I'm going to hit space. And then Oracle space. Well, Oracle and product tab. One, one tab. And Oracle tab. All right, so LS and SH, and I'm gonna highlight and right click and enter. Okay, uh, it says the following environment variables are set to, and well, enter the full path name or your local bin directory. That's the default. Anytime you see anything like that, that means that's the default location and that is correct. So I'm just going to hit enter. And well, I think it tells you that it created a file. Uh, I think so. Yeah, creating this right here. Because we're going to have to go into this file. So it did that and we're done. We're going to hit OK. And then we're going to close out because we're done with Xming. If you want to, you can come here and right there, you can close it out because we're done with it. So now what we have to do is pull that guide back up. All right. If you look at the guide post installation, it says add the extra or tab file settings and restart flag for each instance to Y. So now we're going to VI into this file. And let's see. Which one am I on? Okay. This one. 
So now we're going to CD into ETC or ATAB. Well, we can't CD into that. If you try to CD into a folder, it won't work. I'll show you all what I mean. See, it says not directory. So we can only CD into ETC because that's the directory. We have to VI into slash. Well, no slash because we're already in that folder. So VI into. Sorry, you guys. Hmm, my screen is acting funny. O R A T A B. All right. So, and to come down to where it says Oracle Test, and that's the end. So we're gonna hit Escape, and then X for the lead. And then we're gonna hit Escape again, and then I for Insert. Then we're gonna hit the right arrow key, and then you're gonna hit the Caps Lock Y, Caps Lock. Escape to exit out, and then you're gonna hit Shift uh, colon W Q. Right quick enter. So like I said, I always like to verify, even though I know it saved it. I just like to be on the safe side, and it did. So now I'm gonna quit. So that's done. Now we can get to the fun part of seeing if our database works. First thing you wanna do is SU to Oracle DBA. Girl. All right. So now remember we set up our profile earlier. Before you can get into your database, the first thing you have to do is what's called sourcing your profile. In order to source your profile, you're going to do dot space dot whatever the name of the profile is. For our profile is profile dot db. Enter. And if you notice, our name changed from this to Oracle DBA girl at Oracle test. So now to verify that everything works correctly, we're going to basically go to our database. Now in the last video I told you all that you definitely wanted to make sure you knew syntaxes for your database. Linux is the reason why because everything is done you know by command when you're using Unix or Unix Linux and Solaris. So let's go ahead and see if it works. SQL plus single quote slash as sys dba. It's closing quote. All right. So that means that my profile is set up right. Now I can tell you now, if you didn't get this, there's something wrong in your profile. Go back to that portion of the video, look at it, and go from there. To verify that our database works, okay, it says we're connected to the database. So since we're connected to it, let's try to shut it down. Shut down is, let's do a shutdown immediate. Can't spell right now, I can tell y'all that. It's been a long day. Let me do shut down the board because I can't spell right now. Shut down the board. Oracle instance shut down. So let's do, now let's start it up. Start up, let me mount it. All right, start up. I mean, database mounted. Now let me open it. Well, they said shut it down first. So shut down. You normally don't shouldn't use shut down the board. You normally want to use shut down immediately, you guys. Okay. Um, we'll just do this. Start it up. Open. Database mountain and database open. So shut down and I'll just do that. And it's going to take time because I didn't specify anything. But basically, I just wanted to show you all that it's working. Let me stop that. Um, it's definitely working and I hope that this video helped you all. And I hope that you all really get to studying and doing everything it is that you should do. Okay? Um, I'll worry about this later. Just exit out. Okay, so this has been video four and five how to install Oracle Linux and install a database on top of that. If you all need anything, definitely ask me questions. Subscribe, like, 
uh, comment all that other good stuff and whatever else you all need I would do my best to do for the next video I'm thinking about doing interview tips I haven't made up my mind yet if you all have any suggestions please let me know and thank you all Oracle DBA girl signing off